welcome to another Wonder Draft tutorial. Today I will show you various techniques to draw different styles of coastlines. I'll be going over three major types of coastlines. Rocky or Rhea coastlines, sandbar or barrier reef coastlines, and fjords. The first type of coastline is the rocky coastline. These are the most common of all coastlines and are generally created when a landmass is lifted up through tectonics. Uh, another common way for this to occur is called the Rhea coastline or when water floods uh, a flat region. You can find very many real life examples of this type of coastline. My favorites are China, Greece, Turkey, Scotland, and South Africa. The tool that you will want to use to create coastlines is the raised landmass tool located under land. It automatically generates coasts like so once you drag it around and there are settings over here that you can play with. The larger the brush size, the bigger area that it's going to cover when you draw. The uh, higher the roughness, obviously, the more intricate the details and lower creates bigger shapes. So I tend to start with large brush strokes and low roughness to get the big features in of a coastline like so. So I would just follow along your coast until you get nice features and sometimes alt, holding down alt to cut back in to move the coastline away from the extrusions you've already created. And I would go over with this multiple passes, slowly raising the roughness. And sometimes I would skip sections and also lightly click when I feel it's necessary. And you're start, going to start to see that the fractalness of coastlines emerges because of these multiple passes. And don't forget to hold down Alt once in a while to really get a different shape. And that is pretty much how you can make a rocky coastline fairly quickly uh, with this process of iterating over the same coastline over and over again with different roughness. Moving on to our second style of coastline, the sandbar or the barrier reef coastline. These are commonly found in places like eastern United States, Florida Keys, or northeast Australia. Starting from a rough landmass, you will want to give your coast the same multi-pass treatment that you did before with the rocky coasts. Once you've finished with the inner coast, it's time for the barrier islands. The way I like to do this is also with the raised landmass tool. Click drag along the coastline, but vary the speeds so that you get different densities with the coast. I wouldn't be afraid of touching the coast itself or go out away from the coast. Next, hop over to the eraser and gently erase the front side of these islands to give it the smooth look that we would often find in the barrier reefs or the sandbars, like so. And here's a quick paint over so you can see how it would look if it had some color on it. Next up, everybody's favorite, fjords. You'll be able to find references for these in Norway, British Columbia, and also Chile. Because fjords are created through glaciation, they tend to look a lot like how rivers look at the source where they are formed through glaciers themselves. A lot of very sharp bends and very noisy look with tons of different sources flowing in. I tend to use the highest roughness, leaving the meandering distance, but also a high width. Once you have something that looks like this, you're ready to start carving away. Head over to the lower landmass tool, and I like to use a roughness of 70 
or 0.7. Uh, this is up to you. Start from the mouth of the river up towards the source. Decreasing the size along the way. Once you have something that looks like this, use the raised landmass tool to clean up the edges. Next, I like to clean up the ends of the river with the freshwater eraser. And sometimes the fjords do have reverse fading in, so I would go back in and add a few. For the final touch, you want to use the lower landmass tool to cut trenches and small islands across these fjords. And with that, we're done with this coast. Before I conclude this video, there's one more consideration for coastlines, which is the volcano chains if you have them in your world. Good examples of these are the Aleutian Islands in Alaska, Japan, and Hawaii. It's relatively easy to create these. Use the raised landmass tool and just drag back and forth very quickly. and you have an island chain. If you want a curved one like the Aleutian Islands, it takes a little bit more practice. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video.